Okay. Ali. Eh, uh, Coach Pine. Hey, how are you? I'm very good, Mr. I'm fine. Uh, Coach Pine, you are the head coach of uh, Peace United in Polokwane. It plays in the Safa Capricorn region, stream B. Is it B1 or B2? B1. B1. Yeah. Uh, you guys are sitting on second position on the log. Uh, you've been doing very well. You had a great season compared to other seasons. So we just want to find out your tactical approach to the to the games that you played this season. Your most preferred approach in terms of lineup, tactics, formations, how you you went about uh, approaching all your games. So maybe you can take us through your your formations on the board and how you you approached all your games. Okay, now firstly, uh, it all started training. Our approach this year it was to be more aggressive on the opponent, not giving them space to play. Yeah, doing it very well that uh, most of the SAB teams or Safa uh, regional leagues teams they don't play structural football. They yeah. play mainly like tournaments football, Cassie style. They want to win the game. Yes. So with us this year, we we have emphasized much on the strength, which is the stamina and fitness, so that we can be able to play our normal football in terms of slow build up. But once we go up to the field, we start pressing them with high number of five players attacking. If you can check it on our formation, which will give us a two center backs that cover the the goal post mm. we have our central defensive midfield who places the cover when we we defend when our defender split it mm. then our full backs they are we're playing more like more of the wing backs in the modern football okay. because we want to overload the midfield going upward so if you can check our basically this is our back three the core at the back. Yes, this is the core at the back with our defensive midfield keeping shape every time. So our fullbacks what happen is depending on which side we want to attack it. So we have two uh, number six central midfielders, which is two central midfield, and then we have two number tens. Basically we don't have wingers. Mm. What we do. So every time when we start the ball, if we start it from the goalkeeper to right, mm. this centre back will split here because we want to start and then when they pass the ball this side they say that we go wide to our wing back or we play to our central defensive middle field but in this case if we have to go with outside of the field which is the lane we pass to our wing back this one will take a central back position and then we shift like this one mm. we'll be moving forward up here one of the number tens will cover this space because we don't want him to go and block the way We'll take our central number nine to go there and then this one get to the box. We add one central middle fitters to mm. kind of occupy this space. And then the one that's remaining back mm. is the one who's taking a center position to keep our balance. At the same time, one of our number tens is the one who covered the last pole. Mm. So when he moves up, we still have our three up front. So in this case, we use more numbers when you go forward, mm. keeping our Back to the attack with the central attack in the future to balance it in terms of the intercept the ball. So sorry, coach. So it means you give your your your, your right backs freedom to go forward in this case. Basically, our our, our wing backs. Okay. But one at a time because we have the number ten who can cover the last post. In this sense, we are not using as wingers. We use them as added outsiders. Okay. So they can able to add numbers to get to the box. Okay. Yes. All right. And. In case if we lose the ball, because we know most of our opponents, when they win the ball, they will never start building from the back. Mm. They will take the ball, kick it forward. Yes. So basically, what do we do? If they can win the ball here and they kick it forward, we still have our numbers. If we can check now, it might look like we are scattered. Yeah. In this case, but we still have our one, two, three. We still call for our defense. Yeah. We have one of our fullbacks because we allow one fullback at a time to go up. At the same time, we still have our defensive middle field to keep shape. So every ball that can win it here and kick it here, we're going to cut it in terms of if we compete with the strikers. Mm. We win from the second ball and then we build from the second quarter going forward. Okay. And I just want to ask, Coach, then in terms of uh, players, maybe if you can rearrange the, the, yeah. the players to the original formation, in terms of players, 
who did you prefer in what position and and why not to say that this player is better than the other one just to explain based you know, on the current squad that we have yes uh, this year it was not that much difficult for us to to to, to come up with a starting 11 mm. because we we had a strong under 21s remember in our league there's a rule which says we have to play five under 21s and then the rest might be senior over age yeah yes but uh with us we found ourselves that we're, we're having a very competitive goalkeeper in Carabo. yeah he, he played almost 90 percent of the games and on our defense we were very privileged because we had three center backs from seniors mm. and one junior so we alternate amongst them but the most preferred uh, partnership it was uh we have nahayo yeah partner with a junior it might be melosi yeah in terms of balancing our numbers and we can have duncan on the right which is a junior also on the left uh, uh, yeah on the left, on the left, left duncan. yeah and then on the right depending if we want to play uh more attacking on the width mm. or we want to play compared from the middle feet waiting for the opponents to come and play the ball behind we had the uh, right on the start of the season yeah. which was very quick it and can, it's very good going forward yes and we can give us good crosses so the advantage of that we we, we had nahayo we had Mwilusi, we had escom which was very key on our central middle feeders he stabilized everything he allowed these other juniors and the middle field to move, room around so nahayo Mwilusi, duncan mostly we were using pro okay and Escom as Escom. our central defensive mid. Sorry, coach. And Escom, like you were explaining, when we dropped to a back three now, he has played as a, a centre back. Back. So he's very good at adapting to that. He is, because he's not a player who likes to move forward most of the time. Yeah. He prefers to hold back and start the, initiating the movement with having Makatine and going around him. Yeah. With, which are ball players who can attract the opponents to come close to us while we're buying time for our full backs to get in the attacking positions. Okay. So, with these two central middle feeders, uh, Makatin and Wongi, they are very good in terms of keeping the ball mm. and finding the space in between. So when they keep, get in these areas, we know the director might be already advancing here, yeah. whereby we can bypass our number 10s and pass the ball there, so we can already get three in the box at the same time. And then so director slots in the crosses. Exactly. Okay. And Duncan, as our left uh, wing back, he, he bring another element to our games compared to Rector because Duncan doesn't like much running I'm on the taking, line yeah. but his uh, crossing ability mm. he can give us deep crosses yes. from half and he can able to pinpoint our striker or find a third man running okay. so basically we prefer to have Makatin and Bongi which are ball players and then the front three the front three we have Chiba we had so we had German. Yes. And also this, they are very quick and uh, we are very instrumental in terms of keeping our shape when we defend. Because sometimes we find that we out outnumbered in terms of position because they are very quick. They can able to cover the wingers in this case. And they, they have the stamina to do that. Yes, they have stamina. They can able to start from deep mm. and attack the position while our number 10s keeping position. So basically what we used to do, we throw our opponent out of the positions and we buy time to get the areas that we want behind their full backs so that we can have that ball play there in those areas. Knowing we have Rector that is very pacey, mm. we have Chipa who can cover those areas from deep. Mm. Where so we like to play from the feet. He drops in, you pull up the center backs to come too deep mm. so that we can have space behind where we can play German or we play Chipa to All get right. our goals. Coach, thank you for a detailed uh, assessment. Uh, good luck with the rest of the season. I, I know you have one game left. Uh, good luck until the rest of the season. Uh, see you next time. Thanks very much.